anybody can go from being an occasional once a year, maybe once a month gambler to someone who gambles so intensively that it starts to really disrupt their normal everyday life. Left hand is your tens, right hand is your units. Put a bet on a specific number. Is that clear? Yes, that's clear. So I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger. Can you see that nice and clearly? Yeah. Give me a number. 16. 16, so if you place the bet on 16, the ball's rolling round and round the roulette wheel and then it lands on 16. At that moment, this part of the brain, the VTA kicks in, sending electrical messages to this part of the brain, the nucleus accumbens, which then sends it on here, here and here, to the orbitofrontal cortex. All of those parts of the brain lighting up, that's when you're happy. If the ball lands on a different number, not 16, but somewhere else on the wheel, um, you'll feel a bit disappointed, right? And when that happens, none of these brain areas are lit, light up quite so strongly. The, the activity level suppresses. Quite now, what happens when a brain becomes an addicted brain is that at this level of the synapse, the gap between the two neurons, you end up getting a blunting of the response. That means it takes more and more dopamine to cause electrical signals to surge through the rest of the circuit. They have to bet with greater value of money. They need to bet more often in order to get that same buzz that they used to get just by gambling once in a while. 